Hello everyone, how's it going? So this is going to be a video of the first shots ever through my Polymer 80 Glock 19. I decided to build this. Um, I got bored during COVID and um, the gun stores were pretty packed with people. There was too many applications for firearms, so I decided to build my own. Anyway, um, I went with a Zafiri Precision Slide and Barrel and I went with the normal Polymer 80 um, Black Lower, Glock 19 Lower. It's all Gen 3 parts and I'll show you some of the features of it. I did put tritium night sights on it. It's burnt bronze Cerakoted and then the gold TIN barrel. I put a Streamlight TLR 1HL and then I also put an extended magwell. This is a 3D printed magwell from a company um, I'm going to actually try and find the company I bought it off of. So if you guys are interested, these things are 20 bucks and they fit really well. They have a screw in there for retention and it allows the mag to feed pretty pretty well. It also gives you a little bit extra grip if you have bigger hands. Overall this thing at first jammed a couple times, um, failures to extract, failures to go into battery at first. So after about 40 rounds, this thing really uh, Stop malfunctioning after that. I mean, I shot multiple um, five round groups with it. I kept loading my mag with five to anywhere from five to ten rounds, which is max capacity for in Hawaii, and it shot just fine. I was using the Polymer uh, Magpul P mags and also the ETS Clear mags, and both of them ran flawlessly. After the about a 40 round break in period that it took for this thing to become. Um, reliable pretty much after those first 40 rounds of malfunctions I didn't have any any hiccups after that and I shot about 200 rounds total today I would have shot more I love breaking in my handguns with a little bit more ammo about 500 rounds or so but right now at the shooting range in Hawaii ammo is about 35 bucks a box for 50 and uh, yep so it's pretty expensive 45s were about a dollar each <laughs> I shot my 1911 today only one box though because pretty pricey Everything ran fine on it, and um, I'm going to show you some of the footage of the target. Uh, first groups through it. These tritium night sights I put on there, they're a little low, so I think I have to do a combat hold with them. I'll try and post a picture of what that looks like. Pretty sure these are set up for a slightly higher hold, where it kind of you cover the target with the sights, and then they go dead on. Alrighty, well, I'm going to show you all the targets right now. I'll show y'all some shooting footage of it, and then uh, we'll come back. So I'm going to show you guys the groups I shot at the range today. I didn't shoot a whole lot because um, bullets are about a dollar a round right now. So here's my 5 yard group, my 10 yard group. So at 15 I only shot 3 because I was running a little low on ammo. This is my 25 yard group. I was aiming up here, hit down here. So I am printing a little low but um, I think I just need to adjust the way I'm holding the sights on the target. Because at 10 yards, I aimed a little higher and I hit pretty pretty close to where I wanted. But at 5, I was low. And um, with my 1911, normally I wouldn't hit low at all, like with my normal hold. But this Glock shooting a little low. 
I just gotta adjust my sights higher. Just aim a little higher and it'll be fine. All right, everyone, so after showing you all that footage of the shooting and the targets, uh, that's pretty much it. It was just a quick, uh, a quick little range review of this thing, um, just to show you all how the first shots were out of that Paul and Rady. Um, I didn't have to do a whole lot of troubleshooting at the range, just a lot of uh, pretty much um, racking the slide back, ejecting whatever was stuck in there, the empty brass or whatever, and then um, just pretty much working all the kinks out. These things are pretty rough when you when you first drill them out. I mean, you have to dig into a bunch of plastic polymer and all that. But once you get all those little pieces of plastic out, all those burrs, uh, they, they shoot well. I mean, this thing shot great. It surprised me at the end, um, no failures at all. After about 40, shot very well, no issues. And um, if you've never built one of these before and you're worried about it, I'd say um, go ahead and do it. I mean, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that show you how to do it. I personally followed um, a YouTube channel called Marine Gun Builder. Um, I don't know him or anything at all, but um, he, you know, his videos were pretty informative and they taught me everything. I just did mine with the Dremel that cost me about 30 bucks at the local hardware store, a file set that I bought on Amazon for 20 bucks, and a cheap drill, $30 drill. That's all you need. Well, everyone, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it.